Hello, this is Professor Hazari. In this video, I would like to show you how uh, artificial intelligence tools, uh, which is um, popularly known as AI, uh, has made it possible to learn about uh, items in Excel uh, without knowing details. So what this means is you still need some knowledge of how to compose formulas, but for complex formulas, uh, AI tools are making it very, very easy to um, solve problems by uh, coming up with the right formulas that you can enter and get the answers that you're looking for. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I have um, uh, developed a sample spreadsheet where you have the order date in column A, then you have a region in column B, and the number of items and unit cost for each item. In the column G, we have the total sales, which is the number of um, units multiplied by unit cost. And if you look at this spreadsheet, this is similar to what your project is in class, where we have another larger spreadsheet and you're asked to calculate a whole bunch of parameters. So for example, in this demonstration, uh, I just wanted to do a quick um, a demo of how to solve uh, the questions that are asked over here. So for this, the first thing that you will need to do is uh, add an AI add-in uh, into Microsoft Excel. And the way we do that is go to Insert, Add-ins, Get Add-ins, and then click on Store. And you have to type in the name of the add-in. In this case, it is AI Aided Formula. And once I press enter, the very first one is AI added formula. So this is what we will add. Now this started off as a free um, add-in, but now uh, they are requiring you to sign up. So let's go ahead and click on it saying that you want to install. And then you say that I agree to terms, click continue. And then uh, it will insert that add-in into your Microsoft Excel, which will show you a box over here. And at this time, as I was saying that this used to be free, but now they're requiring you to sign in. So let me go ahead and the sign in is free. You do get up to 50 queries, I believe, for uh, the um, free version and then they have the subscription model also but for our purposes and the purposes of this demo I'm just going to go with the free uh, version so I'm going to pause this video and um, then go ahead and sign in and come back okay I've gone ahead and signed in and when you look at your menu bar after signing in you see another option which says AI aided formula editor click on this click on this next button over here and um, you will see that uh, another window opens up on the right side. Click on AI Generator, and this is where you would describe your formula. Again, you can describe it in plain English. So for example, we, uh, in the first case, the question is asking what was the lowest cost order? So we want the lowest cost order from these cells. And again, for demonstration purposes, this is only 10 rows, but you can have 10,000 rows. All you need to do is tell it uh, what you're looking for. In this case, I'm looking for the smallest number in this array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it that um, in G2 to G11, which is G2 is right here, G11 is right here, what is the lowest number? And uh, the number I'm looking for should go in this cell. So if I click here, click Submit, and then it gives me the formula which is minimum G2, G11. I click on uh, transfer to cell. And this is the cell I had selected. So the number is 9.03, which is the smallest number over here. So this is how you, how fast you can just describe the formula, describe what you're looking for, and it gives you. So let's clear this out and let's move on to the next one. In this case, it says, what was the average order cost for the Western region? So I wanted to find the average 
of these sets of numbers but only for the western region so what i need to tell it that i need to tell it the same thing that there is uh, the total cost in g2 to g11 what is the average cost but if i just say average cost and stop right here it'll give me the average cost for all regions but i need to specify uh, the what i'm looking for is for the western region click on this and click submit it's going to think and then it's going to give you the formula so the formula here is average if in c2 to c11 which is uh c2 to c11 so in this case it picked up the column c but i'm looking for uh, column b so i'm just going to change this from b2 to b11 so you need to be careful about the formula that it's um, giving you because i did not give it correct information i should have told it that the regions are in column b2 to b11 and then it would give the correct answer so go ahead and try that prompt but for now i'm just going to say copy this formula over here and the average is 347 so i'll verify this um, and make sure that this is only giving me for the western region number three what percentage of sales were from the northern region so what i'm going to do is this time i'm going to tell it i'm going to specify the region which i did not in the previous case so i'm going to say b2 to b11 has region sales in g2 to g11 what percentage of total sales were from the northern region and when i click submit it's going to give me a formula that is fairly complicated some if aha they picked up the right one b2 to b11 this time because i specified the region cells and then it's looking for the number in g2 to g11 divide by the total so let's go ahead and transpose the formula over here it says six percent and for the final one it says on how many days were sales greater than 500 made so i'm going to say that learning from my mistake from the previous one i'm going to say a2 to a11 which is this one right here has order dates g2 to g11 has order totals on how many days were sales of more than 500 dollars made i click on this i say submit and it's generated this uh, formula i transpose this formula into the cell so it has it says that uh, on three days uh, sales greater than 500 were made let's verify this so there's one there's two and there's three so it was able to do this correctly so what we learned from this demonstration is you need to describe your formula in detail for it to give you the answers but then once again verify do not copy blindly and this just shows you the power of ai tools that are being integrated into word processing database and spreadsheet type programs to make uh, learning about functions and formulas very easy so i hope this video has been helpful